G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a swipe for you today. My old fashioned swipe with my glue and water mix and my silicone, haven't done one for a while, so let's do that. Now this is my little card that I give to my students when they come for their class, when they do swipes. Um, I'll zoom in on it later on at the end for you, but um, it just tells you the ratio, uh, the size, this is a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas. Uh, I think it's a 16 by 20 inch and you need about 750 grams of mixed paint. So I'll zoom in on that at the end. Just remind me, okay, if I forget. I'm going to use my plastic sheets to swipe with as I usually do. I'm going to swipe from the middle out that way. I'm going to swipe from the middle out that way. Okay, so that's those. My glue and water mix is what I use for my flip cut pours, so it's the same pouring medium but it's a different ratio with swipes because you need a thinner mix. So it's a 60% glue, 40% water, then instead of mixing that one to one, it's one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint for these. The swipe colour is a little bit thinner, it's two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And I'm using all the Montmartre Studio Acrylics today. I don't think I've actually done a swipe with these before. so. We will see how that goes. So in my cups, I've got 90 grams, which is three ounces of uh, pouring medium and 60 grams, which is two ounces of paint. And I'm gonna pop in my treadmill silicone. Uh, I'm gonna do three in each. Oops. And I don't do any in a swipe color. You can, if you want to, Put it in the swipe colour and not in your other colours, that works well too. Um, but you can just do your, your colours and then swipe over them. Now, I haven't put any in the white just because the white's an opaque colour. Actually this one's opaque as well, the turquoise. So I've got the red which is the brilliant red. This one here is orange with a little bit of yellow put into it just to make it a little bit more on the yellow side. The blue is the phthalo blue with um, a blob of black to darken it. So we'll put that aside for a minute because that's the swipe one. Now you may recognize these colors. I use these colors for my uh, Phoenix pour. I've used them a lot. I really like these colors together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe with the navy. So the navy will be in the center and then there'll be aqua and then there'll be the orange and then the red at the bottom. So we'll get to sort of fire and ice, the blues coming down into the oranges and into the reds. So that's the kind of look that I'm going for today. <clears throat> and as I said, we'll start with a little bit of the, the navy. That'll be down there, just to give me a bit of a, a focal point. And we'll put some of the turquoise there. Now when you're swiping, you get to back here and you're going to swipe your colours off. So there's no point putting your red on the bottom there because you're just going to swipe it off. You need to start with your reds, your oranges and reds here so that when they swipe down, you don't lose all of them off <clears throat> the canvas. I've just excuse my cro croaky voice. I'm still not over the flu that I had. It's taken forever to get rid of it. Okay, so that's my, that's all my red gone. I will be tilting the canvas to cover it. I'll try not to go too much up and down. I'll do try to do more side to side. Um, I'm just going to widen this navy because I think I was not quite in the centre there. Okay, that's all the turquoise. I haven't even done a little practice swipe with these paint so we'll see what happens hey hopefully it'll work out nicely <laughs> normally I do a little practice one you know off camera first if 
I'm doing something new or a little bit of different paints or something, but I'm just getting straight into it today. I do this, jump in the shower, I'm going to take my little puppies down to the vet for their microchipping and vaccinations today. So that's happening. And now with the white, um, hmm, I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a thin drizzle with the white, just there and there. I don't really want to go over the red because I don't really want too much in the way of pink. So hopefully this will work. I'm going to move my plastic sheets out of the way. I've already got paint on them. Clean those up. I like using the plastic because you can easily just wash them. And I find that you do need to have a little bit of weight when you're swiping. I don't like the paper towel. It's too thin, flimsy. I like to have a little bit of weight so the actual plastic drags the paint through. Now I have to go over the sides here. Just covering the edges. Doesn't matter too much at this stage if my little lines are, are wonky. Might have to actually make up a little bit more red. You probably could get away with actually swiping that over the dry canvas, but if you get into trouble and it sticks, then you know there's there's nothing you can do about it. So it's probably best to make up some more of the red um, because most of that's going to get swiped off anyway. Let's see if I can maybe stretch it down a little bit more. Then I don't need to make up any more. <laughs> that might do, you know. Might do. All right, <clears throat> I'll just, I'm going to see how that goes without putting any more red on the bottom and just seeing if what I drag over is enough to cover these. Now, I don't, I don't mind too much about that little swirl there. That doesn't really bother me. Actually, it does bother me. Let's see if we can straighten it just a touch. <laughs> Better. Now I'm going to put some more navy through the centre and as I said that's going to be my swipe colour. Don't need too much of it. And I've got my paper towel ready here to catch the plastic when it comes down so I can use that to clean off my plastic sheets. Alrighty. Are we ready? Touch half the plastic there into well, into the blue, half the blue, and off we go. And I'm hoping that oops, there we go. We've got enough <laughs> of the red. See, the red's managed to um, go to the end. Now I'm going to turn that around and use the other side and overlap a little bit over here too. slow down as I get to the bottom there just to make sure that I can cover that canvas oh my gosh look at those cells you guys wowzers probably needed to cover that a little bit a bit better but that's okay I can touch that up later where's my corners oh there they are all right now I'm going to use my other piece of plastic because I've used the other one both sides 
and I'll off center this line so we don't have that join in the middle. You just, you do get that where the plastics have joined. Um, not much you can do about that. Off we go again. There we go. How gorgeous is that? Other side. Go again. Make sure that your feet are behind, one foot's behind the other so that you don't fall over when you lean back. Okay. That's looking really good. Now let's just hope. I wonder if I should just swipe through there again. It's quite dark there. Hmm. Hmm. Should I, shouldn't I? It's always, always unsure at this stage. Um. The problem is if you go swiping again, you end up with more of these lines. That's the only problem. Let's have a look. See, if I go again here, I'm going to end up with another blue line like that. I'm just going to leave it for now and just see what it looks like. I can always swipe it afterwards. I'm just not sure if I'm going to get much many cells there. I had a lot of blue there. All right, let's just have a little look, okay? We'll torch it gently and see what's going to happen. See the little spitting there? So the cells are going to arrive under there. They will come up and say hi. Let's give that a light torching. Now this because it's a swipe, obviously we're not going to tilt to cover the canvas like we do when we do flip cut pores and stretch the cells out. So the cells that appear are going to be the cells that we get. We're not going to be able to really do anything with them. So once they come up, hopefully they will grow a little bit as these ones are doing. Um, as I said, I don't know that much is going to happen in there because we've got a lot of the dark blue paint there. But I really love these cells. I actually don't want to swipe over them anymore. Wow, those cells are so pretty, hey. And you can see what I mean about, you know, losing the red. There's not much. You can see the band of turquoise and the band of orange and there's not much red there it's kind of you do sort of swipe your red right off or whatever colors on the bottom let's see if I can get some more cells coming up through there hopefully we'll get some red coming through nothing's happening under this navy in the middle so I've probably put a little bit too much navy there you know how it kind of went like that and then I put more blue over the top so yeah but oh my gosh those cells wow they are so much better than the um the global because I used to do my swipes with global paint and these are so much better something in there a little blob of paint wowzers you guys look at them oh my gosh those are better cells than I get with my flip cup paws wow okay um, I'm just going to see if I can see I haven't actually gone over the um, the canvas on the sides here which is a bit of a, a shame So I think I'll just be touching all those up a little bit later, actually. Normally what I do is I, and I probably should have done it this time as well, I cover the whole canvas and then I put my navy down over the top. So, you know, I get my edges done because now I haven't, my edges aren't done. I'm going to have to paint those afterwards. The sides here are done. 
that um, these two long edges are not done. Wow, that's so pretty. And I'm so tempted to um, swipe again, but I'm not going to. The main reason is that if I swipe again, I'm going to muddy the paints. Oh, look, I'm making that worse. Pulling up a little bit of the turquoise underneath. I'm trying to cover that and I'm just making it worse. <laughs> take it down for close-up and oh look you can see the red now see the red bar there I haven't got much down here how, how much paint have I got left oh no I haven't got any paint left have I I've got some navy I only used half my navy so I'm gonna make up some more paints and I'm gonna do it the way that I normally do it cover the whole canvas and then put my blue down oh these are just divine these cells and where's my little card? I'll just zoom in on my little card so that you guys can see my ratios. Looks like a little cartoon world, doesn't it? Those colours are just so bright. Okay, there it is. Just hang on to that for a, a minute so that you can get a little screenshot. Whoops, which way am I going? <laughs> there we go. How's that? So get a little snap of that. Okay, everyone got it? Good. I know there's a lot of navy in the middle. Probably a little bit too much. But hey, it's still pretty. The, the dark navy is a real contrast um, against those really bright colours. But uh, yeah, a little bit less navy would have been better. So... Not bad for a first try, I must say, with these new paints. Yeah, I mean, I've only ever done the flip cut pours with the um, Mott Mart. It's my first swipe with them, and I'm really impressed. Look how bright they are. Look at that. Let me turn my light off. They are just gorgeous. Put you on autofocus. So there's quite a lot of blue over this side. On this side, it's more turquoise because I didn't swipe with as much of the navy on this side. But they're really, really pretty cells. Look at them, multicolored rings around them. You'd be happy with that in a flip cup pour, wouldn't you? <laughs> Really pretty. And we've got little little tiny specks. Those are probably just air bubbles that have popped. Um, I don't think they're going to turn into cells. So there we go. Looking at it from my side. Um, so yeah, definitely going to go again. Uh, I might make up a little bit more of the red because the red. Now, as I said, it gets swiped right off. And um, we'll go again and we'll see what difference it makes with uh, less navy in the middle, hey? Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I love swipes. They were the first things I ever did three years ago. Love them. Um, okay, so we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.